Let's go. <laughs> Look at that. That is right on 18. What is happening guys? Back with another one. This week's mission was to find some sturgeon on the Sac River. I did a little bit of striper fishing the beginning of the week over at Broderick's and dang, it's like everybody and their mamas were over there. So I hate fishing where the crowds are. So I drove from West Sac down to Rio Vista, you know, go chase some dinos and boom, found them. A lot of guys are asking exactly where I'm fishing at. And I'll say this, there's guys catching them from Grizzly Island all up and down the Sac River right now. So they're in the system. Put your time in, put your time in, put, put your time in. Go If you're a beginner fisherman and don't know the Sac River that well, pick a spot, fish that spot consistently and learn that spot. You're gonna learn where the snags are. You're gonna learn where the deep little holes are. You're gonna learn the, the feeding habits of the sturgeon. You know, if you see guys by you hooking up on sturgeon, pick up your phone, look at the tides, look at where that tide's at, you know, learn learn the habits of the sturgeon. Uh, may not pr produce for you that year or the following year or the, the next year after that, but you know, there's a spot I fish to this day. I still haven't caught a sturgeon there. But I watch guys catch sturgeon after sturgeon after sturgeon there, and it's all about luck, really, guys. I've seen guys pull up with a bluegill pole and a night crawler, and 10 minutes in, boom, they're on a sturgeon. I fished the Sac River for 15 plus years before I caught my first sturgeon, so don't let it discourage you. If 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 you're not that patient, maybe uh, bass fishing's more for you, you know. <laughs> but anyways, get your favorite bait out there. In the Sac River, my personal favorite is ghost shrimp. Can't go wrong with ghost shrimp. In the Delta, I like using salmon roe. So yeah, guys, get your favorite bait out there, put it in the holder, and put some bells on. I personally like using bells because I do turn my back to the pole sometimes, God forbid, whether I'm using the restroom or barbecuing or whatever. And even then, sometimes the sturgeon won't ring those bells. It's nothing like a striper bite where it's ding, ding, ding. It's very subtle. It's uh, They're a bottom feeder, so have you ever seen a carp or catfish feed? Uh, the sturgeon got a big old suction cup as a mouth comes out the bottom of their head, you know, really long sometimes, like a snout. And they come and they'll suck the bait in and spit it out. Suck it in and spit it out. And what it looks like on the tip of your pole is a small pump. Suck in, spit out. Suck in, spit out. Sometimes I've seen it super subtle where it's the tiniest pump. And I'll set, I've set the hook then and I have a big old oversize on the end. So if you think you have a sturgeon bite, set that hook. A swing and a miss is better than nothing. And you know, it's good to get refreshing your bait and put it back out there sometimes. So <clears throat> never hurts to set the hook. One more thing I want to go over is just what I'm using out there uh, for my setup. And you know, you're just using your basic Carolina rig, heavy duty Carolina rig. You know, you just want a nice heavy duty slider because you're throwing heavy weights anywhere from eight to 18 ounces, you know, the river's ripping right now. A nice heavy duty swivel. Your leader, I use a 100 pound P-line. Half ounce weight maximum on your leader. And a seven knot K hook right here. And the weight is, like I was saying earlier, they're bottom feeders. This helps your bait stay on the, on the bottom. So I just want to say thank you to all my subscribers. You guys are awesome. Thank you for all the comments and the likes. It really, it really means a lot. Yeah, guys, I will be doing a giveaway for a thousand subscribers. I will be announcing that in future videos coming up. So stay tuned for that. Hope you guys liked the video. We got on some oversized and some striper. So yeah, guys, see you. Let's go. <laughs> Got that? You know what? Go ahead. You might want to walk them on my side. Keep it tight. Keep, tight. Keep it tight, but walk them down. Here. Here, go ahead. Step, step over mine. Yep. There we go. Yep. Yep. Oh, yep. Look at that oversized boy. Look at that tail, boy. No, you're good, you're good, you're good. There you go. He's oversized, so don't, so we don't want to take him too far up, but just bring him right here, you're good. 
Look at that. Look at that. 50, 58? 58. 58 inches, guys. 58, baby. Let's go. Yeah, that's what it's about right there. Let's go. Oh man. By the way that thing's pulling. Oh, you can see all the lead, bro? Yep. That's where you gotta be patient and hope he pulls out, man. <laughs> yeah, I don't watch too many people lose them right there. Bro. People lose them right there, bro. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> Damn. Yeah, I'll hold the pole for you if you want to dive in. <laughs> you still feel him on the end? There you go. He got him unstuck. He got him unstuck. No. Yep. Whoa. That's all. Oh, he's off it there. Yep. Nice. Oh, there he is, bro. I got you. Yo, baby. Yeah, I grabbed him. You got him? Alright, you go. 51 inches. You about to get it back in. Now, I'm gonna take a picture with me real quick. Yeah, that's the one. There he goes. Woo! Oh. What have I got? Oh, nice. Got me a striper. Look at that. That is right on 18. Is it? Let's see. 17 and a half inches. I gotta let her go. Oh, there he goes. There he is. He's on. Let's go, baby. Oh! No, he didn't. No! No! Hope you guys like the video. Like and subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Later.